Hi there, welcome to PTP TV. You know the drill, these are episodes about everything to do with wedding photography and my opinions and advice and tips on how to uh, answer a few of your questions. And thanks very much for everyone who's got back to me asking for more content and more topics to be covered. At any time you can message me down below at the bottom of the screen, send me uh, anything that you want me to cover off in a future episode of PTP TV. You could also uh, tag someone in the comments box so that they get to watch these episodes as well. There's loads more still to come. There's already 15 up on my IGTV profile. So uh, hopefully this is really helping you to plan your wedding. So today I wanted to cover off something that's really important to me and that is transparent pricing. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, when you book your wedding photographer, there are uh, a number of ways in which you can do this. You can quite simply book the photographer for the day, make sure you get your wedding photography, get your images and that's it. And you're, that's all you're paying for. Obviously make sure that those photographs are sent as digital images, that you have the copyright for those digital images. That's something that we covered in a previous uh, episode. Uh, there are other things that the photographer can do for you, like make an album after the wedding, uh, do extra photo shoots before the wedding or after the wedding. It can be a big package, it can be a small package, but whatever it is, the most important thing is, is you go into this with your eyes open and that you understand right from the off what you're actually going to be paying for. On a lot of photographers' websites, unfortunately, there is a kind of a prices from or prices on application. This isn't really good enough in modern business. Your website is your shop window. It should very clearly say what your pricing is. So for example, at PTP, we have two packages, one which is at 2.5K plus VAT, one which is at 4.5K plus VAT. You can check out the details. I'm not going to go through it now. But very simply, uh, there's a difference in the number of photographers. There's a difference in the number of shoots. Uh, there's a difference in whether or not you get an album. But whatever happens with PTP, you always get your pictures on USB sticks uh, and also on the online photo gallery. That's another episode that I've covered already. Whatever you do, make sure that you know what you're paying for up front and that you're not going to get slammed with any hidden extras like paying £5, £10, £20, I've heard of one photographer who charges that to take their logo off your wedding pictures before they give them to you as proper digital files. So be aware and make sure that your photographer spells out exactly what you're getting for how much money. Okay, hope that helps. Any questions, any comments, you know what to do, bottom of the screen.